other than the primary in. Uh, I, I, I haven't seen too many people that really are truly ambidextrous. I've seen some people that are really good with their right hand doing a lot of things, but I'll bet you side by side they'll be doing better with this hand than they will be that hand. Okay? So it's going to be bizarre. First thing, you see, I got my blue gun. The first thing you guys want to make sure that when you do, when you put that gun in your hand, make sure it's down your arm. You see a lot of tendencies to want to be doing stuff like this. You're not going to get good hits. The gun's not going to cycle. It's not going to go back on target. You're, you're not going to do well with it. So make sure it's in your hand the way it should be, straight down this support structure. Okay? Now, as I told you guys, usually what happens is it goes to this hand because this one was injured or something and it's dropped. So, let's talk about that for a minute. Remember, we've already given you a kneeling position, okay? And forgive me, but I'm going to move that out of the way because I'm wearing shorts and I, I really don't want to get hurt today. But we've got to get down. So you swipe it, you go down to that knee like we've already showed you. Now the grip is in the wrong direction for me to grab it with, well, no, it's in the right direction for my left hand. I'm thinking wrong. It's in the wrong direction for me to grab it with my left hand. So what am I going to do? Now pay attention because this is important. Ready? <laughs> no way. Wow. Can I see that again? You do that again. I need to see that again. Where's the left-handed blue gun? I don't okay. see it. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's get a slow-mo. Let's get a slow-mo. And it's not oriented properly. Yeah, then what you can do is you can pick it up and resume your fighting stance. Now you notice I'm not trying to change my normal stance to get that back. I'm just doing what I normally do. If you're forward on your toes, you're in behind the gun, you don't need to be swapping these feet. The recoil forces are still going to go back into your torso and this foot being behind you, it's going to be enough. If you're standing back like this, it could be problematic, but if you're forward under your toes like you are when you have it in your primary hand, you're going to be just fine. Now, the next issue I'm going to deal with, people have a hard time shifting dominant eyes. If you're already cross-dominant, you're going to love this. It's going to look normal for you. Okay? That means you're a closet lefty. If you're not, you're going to have a hard time shifting it over to your non-dominant eye. I'm going to give you a technique that's only known at the highest levels of junk dealers everywhere. Follow along. Ready? Yep. Face me and do that again, please. Up on target. Well, you shouldn't close one of your eyes. You are in the most dire of circumstances here, dudes. Yeah. This is not the time to be, you know, looking at the gun magazines and reading what some guy says. You've got to do what it takes to win. Close the damn eye and get the shot. And then you can always get it back open again. It's the, just the easiest and most direct way to take your dominance from here to here. Period. Especially since you're probably not going to put tons of time into this. Tons of time. I actually went to a two-day class one time called No We Can. And it was all offhand shooting. And it was a great class, no problem like that. But he gave us all this stuff about, you know, how you can, in your, and I never did get it, but I was behind dark glasses, so I just liked that the whole weekend. It worked fine. Dave, why don't you just shoot with the dominant eye? Huh? Why don't you just shoot with the dominant eye? Why don't you just shoot your dominant eye? Yeah. Well, you can. You can shift your head over like yeah, that. A, little bit a lot of people will have difficulty finding it. So my suggestion to you to be, would be like the flashlight technique. Get a felt reference. Okay, I've got it lined up right here like this, so I know if I put my cheek on my arm right there like that, I know I'm going to have alignment. Either way, I don't care. I'm not that rigid about it. Whatever it takes to get the job done. But get the gun in your hand, straight as possible. Engage the trigger. Try to depress it. Try not to convulsively grip it. Get your dominant eye shifted over. Okay? Now, another way that we can do this instead of bending down. Now pay close attention. Ready? It's called a lean over. 
You probably don't want to do it if you've had some intoxicating beverages. But you just bend over. You can kneel down, bend over. I mean, what else would you do? The problem with bending over is trying to keep your eye on the threat zone. That's why some people prefer to kneel down so you can keep your eye up here. But other people say that's slower than bending over and picking it up. One of these things. One of these things. If you have a hard time bending over because of your body build, then maybe kneeling down will be the way to go. The same thing applies here. It falls on top of the hood of your car or a table in a, in a, in a store or a, a restaurant or whatever the case may be. It's no different. Roll it over, get it back into the fight. Okay? If it ends up landing like that, now we're not going to do all this stuff to your guns. No big deal. Tip it over, pick it up. Don't try to do anything fancy. Forget that it's a gun and think of it as just another object, like maybe it's a hammer. You just spin the hammer around to pick it up. You know what I'm saying? This is not, well just because it's a gun we've got to come up with a unique technique. No we don't. No we don't. We can, if, it, if, it's, if it's turned over here like this, and I need it in my left hand, flip it over and pick it up just like I would if the hammer was in the wrong direction or the wrench or whatever the case may be. Flip it around, pick it up. The guys, be the guys that are on the ground, don't care if you stoop, don't care if you bend. <clears throat> what I don't want to see is you tip over. Okay, so stay steady. When you pick the gun up with your offhand only, I want to see you shoot seven rounds. Just kidding, two. Just kidding, two. Two rounds. Okay? Are we ready? You do this, Darren. All right, two rounds on the command of up. Offhand only. <coughs> Bad day to bring an Ed Brown to the range. You really kid. Get the big one? Would you do this to some of your guns? The best thing ever invented was that flexible denim shit. Yeah. I agree. That four way stretch. Love it. Alright, guys. Get ready to call you through again. Get ready to call you through again.